Good afternoon, everybody. This afternoon, we are making the 180-degree boat, figure number eight, from the Elements of Papa. There's the book. This is, this is the pop-up we're making, the 180-degree boat. It's basically just a, a dimensional ellipse, elliptical shape. Okay. This is the pattern that I downloaded from popupbooks.com. And this is the pop-up. This is the piece. Once again, we have a, a base page with a center fold. So fold all your folds. I, I cut pieces out earlier. Cut and folded, cut and scored. There they are. Okay, so this is, this is the, the pop-up piece itself. And the first piece we're going to glue is this tab. There you go. Now this aligns with the center fold on a with the parallel slot here. Let me move it that way. That's what makes it a parallel fold. Um, the pop-up piece attaches parallel to the center fold. That's what makes it the parallel fold design. Okay, th 30 seconds there. All right. One of the things about this design is it can be attached so that you get a shape like this. You can go wider and wider and wider. So you can change the shape of the, it's not really an ellipse, but you can, we, I'll call it that, but you can change the shape almost to the point where it's a full circle, although it will never actually shape up to be a circle, but you can come very, very close. Let's say you're making a birthday cake or something. This is the basic structure. So we'll put the tab in the slot. Get it in there, good. See, everything's nice and parallel, all right. Put a little bit of glue on there. Hold that for 30 seconds. And as always, with the, with the, uh, when the, when the structure is designed properly, you, you assemble it by putting glue on the tab here, closing the page, letting the, the tab that's not slotted find its own position. Let's hold that for a good 30 seconds. Let's see what we have here. There it is. That's your shape, that's your ellipse shape. One of the things you can do with this pop-up or this design, you can experiment. And right now, I have these folds designed so they're perpendicular to the page, basically. They're a little bit off there, but perpendicular to the page, you can change that. So you can change this fold and this fold so they're more of an angle. That way you could create the bow of a ship if you wanted to. And at one point, um, I'll show you how to add a lid on this. Actually, the next design, which is the cylinder, We'll put a lid on it, a top on it, and you, and you do that with the tube post armature that I showed you before with the, with the dimensional box. There you go. The 180 degree boat, figure number eight. There it is.